Welcome back for some more Link's first day. Temple of Water. Here we go. Now it's not as treacherous as you think. Water Temple. Oh, good. <laughs> no, no, no. It's actually a little bit more kinder here. And the Temple of Water's music. Not too bad. I, I don't know where it's from. Doesn't sound too bad. But I'd like to keep hearing it, so I would like to know what this song is. Anyway, we use the whistle on that little jewel. So let's head through this locked door, see what we find. Well, it's a good thing I didn't lose my shield. Oh, as I hate life right now. Anyway, ah, oh, there's the boss door with give those to spare. Money. Nothing in there. Alright. Okay, and we got guineas. Nothing. Nothing from you creepy little critters. Hey, wall masters. Nice to see y'all. Not really. You guys are fragile. Fragile little hands. Is that it? There's some stairs. Leading to... Oh gosh. I almost walked into that. You don't mind stepping away from me, please? Get a nice key out of here. There we go. Oh no, thank you. I don't need to be escorted out. You don't want to escort me out. There we go. And ew, hello. I see my favorite item of this uh, game overall. What? I like the wand. I wish the wand was used more, though. And I wish I didn't get teleported out of here! Damn it. Damn it. Frickin' wind robes. They're more annoying than... Even the mirror robes. Mirror robes are just more damaging. Wind robes... They damage you just by taking you back. Well, they don't do actual damage, they just... They just damage you inside. They break your heart. Why do wind robes have to break your heart? Oh. Come on, game. Keep up. There we go. Now let me go ahead and grab... The wand. I wish there were more quests using this. Better yet, I wish there was a quest where you can just use the wand. However, however, like I did mention before, or I might have mentioned a long time back, um, it doesn't work on whiz robes at all, so yeah, that would be a weakness. But I just like the wand overall. I mean, who would not want magic? I want to know if there is a quest out there where the wand is only or the wand is only used. I don't know for sure, but I would definitely love to play that. Yeah, however, since I already have the hammer, though, it, it's kind of redundant to even use the wand. I don't even know if the wand is even needed in this quest. It's just extra... extra... baggage. Nothing up there. Oh, you still can't knock these guys out. Are these the trebles? Because trebles, I don't think, can be killed in one hit except with the Master Sword. That's a damn shame. Killing bats is not a necessity at all. 
Uh, oh. Hmm. Yeah. Nice handy little trickery there, even though it wasn't very... wasn't really... a good one. <laughs> However, this one's fake. Get my key. You know. Head across. Okay, we well, are all. No. Nothing for killing the Garai. Garias. Here. Garias, Garias, I don't know. I call them Garias. We each have a different name for them. And the compass is off the map. I think this compass is a little way off. Oh gosh. Don't come near me, Bubbles. Stop tormenting me. Eh, yeah, key, nice. Oh god. Zorgazilla. I think here. Now I need to make it across. Touching the white part of the water is hazardous to your health as it's electrified. I'll put it in that term. Now, here. Uh, yeah, here we go. How did I damage him again? Whoop. Well, not like that. Ow! Oh, boomerang. Curse you, Link! And I think, like before, I step between those, I will have to fight him again, and it's over and over. Since this is the newest version, so yeah. Back to the start. I don't think the later quests have that. Second day, I don't... well... Second day does have that problem. One of the dungeons, I believe. Third one, I... don't think. Maybe, I don't know. Fourth, I... have not... practiced yet, so yeah. Let's just enjoy our time with the first day before we actually get to the next couple one, next few ones, I should say. Alright. Well, let's uh, move on through here. Now, you know, why is he over there? Are these temporary ones or are they permanent? They're flashing red on my side. My thing just can't keep up for some reason. Either the video making never really keeps up well. Because anything that flashes is... Or flickers, I should say. Doesn't really make a good impression on the video. Anyway. What do we have in here? Now well, I can just humiliate... Oh, why? Well, now I can actually kill the trebles. Since they're fragile enough to get hit by this. You think pushing on the sand. You think wrong. You think, oh crap, there's traps. And I still got hit. Ow. Ow. Got another key. And I like the... Alright. So you go through... Moblins, really? Are these the weak ones? No, they're the ones. It's, they're the strong ones. All right. Oh, here's another damn trap room. Anyway, defeating. Well, I wouldn't necessarily call it a trap. Uh, let me get my wand. 
Who needs arrows? There you go. And that thing resembles the power bracelet level 2. And I don't even think there's any way back. No. Trapped. Ugh. That's all you dig them trap rooms. <laughs> or just permit stuck. Anyway, I need to head into that room over there. I guess I just... Well, no one may I like to collect everything. Ah, well! This is actually going to be a long video anyway, because we're actually heading to another area for level 7. And we can actually get the, uh... I just love the wand. I just love the wand, that's why. Who doesn't love using magic? Gee, I wish I could use magic. back in there to fight that dude. And I think we needed to bomb up here. <sighs> oh no, walk. Because we got ourselves a pair of squares. No, we're not really. Those are the flippers. So now we're all set for water travel. Now we can actually go get the uh boss key, which was submerged in water. Well, not actually submerged, it was just floating on top of it. Yeah, the bubbles are the temp ones. They look like the permanent ones on my side, because they are permanently flashing red. Now, the boss key, I believe, was... Move you guys knew no, it was Ow Yeah the ones that sit still are the ones that do the most damage. It's always the quiet ones. I can win robes get my key. Alright. Yeah. Alright, let's see if we can get any life back. Because everybody just wants their life back. I just want my life back, man. I just want my life back. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Alright, there's the boss key. And we go downstairs. Is this a trap? No, it's just straight upstairs. I have no idea what I picked up, or if I picked up anything. Okay, yikes, Zoras. And I do believe this is the way to a key. Good to know. Alright. Yeah, yeah, Meh. Zoras. Trap. Now, oh, there's where we need the key. There we go. Fairy. And you head past these bat robe bats. Hey, ooh, the dongos. Damn it, he didn't get hit. Okay, stop eating them all. Otherwise, I'm going to run out. I don't remember which one I damaged. Was it you? No. Alright, I need to damage one. 
There we go. Oh, nice. Oh no, he was the one I damaged. What about you? Hey, come on! What? Don't do it per... Folkly. No. Bad timing on the bombs altogether. Oh well, our container for our efforts. Barry? God? Parents? No. Moldorm? Weak. Uh, come here. Nothing. And Armos. Eh, you swing too slow with this. Eh, eh, eh. Heal up. Time to fight the boss. And it's a patch of sand. Leading us to a... A frog. Well, that's what he looks like to me. Oh, trebles. Whack, 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 whack. Fire. Why does anybody even choose this as an enemy? The fires, they're just jokes. Uh, what do I do? Doesn't say. No. Aquamentis, okay. Does Aquamentis get hurt by magic? Yeah, he does. Oh, Dark Nuts. Thing appears to be splitting up. Yoink. Press right. Huzzah. Well, I'm getting much of my heart containers back, which is a good thing. And this is actually going to complete level 6. Because now we have a whole bunch we can do before we even get to level 7, to believe it or not. So this is actually might be quite long. So let's go ahead and leave the desert as we have no point of returning. However, it should be noted, don't even think about blowing the whistle out anywhere. Because apparently the warp point takes you back to where the bombs were in that corner. Yeah, so I don't recommend using that. Alright. And down across. Alright. And out of the desert for good. I don't need to worry about money. Now, we're actually going to be headed to where level 1 was. We're actually we're going to be heading to the right of it, because we have never gone that way at all. That just led to a great lake, and there was pretty much nothing we can do there at all. You can buy the raft there, but now since we had the flippers, the raft is redundant. However, I was told way back in a vid that I missed a room in level A that was full of whiz robes. You can tell why I didn't go there. You can tell why I didn't go there just now because I would be murdered. But I feel like I'm... I've never been in there, but I feel like I can't handle it. If it's mirror robes, then... Well, I, I'm out of there. <laughs> Time to go back to level A. And go see what that room is all about. If there's anything in there, good. If not, then it was a wild goose chase. Let's go see what level A has to offer me in the secret room. Alright, there it is. Hey, woo. Let's get our hammer and let's see what I find in here. Bombs. And one of them's carrying it. Is that all? 
Well, pointless. Pointless. However, I did need a bomb, so, yeah, I'll forgive you on that. Lost all my hearts because of that. No, well. Alright, it's time to go to the lake. And there's so much we can grab at the lake. Inside that cave, you can buy the raft, I think, or you just give it to you. You can buy the raft, but I don't need it. Because now that we have the flippers, it's swim time. And what a great choice of music. The Hidden Palace of Twilight Princess. Ooh, free heart container. There's a bunch of these all over the lake. So I really don't feel like I lost anything in the fifth dungeon. However, we are going to be moving quite slow, though, and I don't think there's anything here on this... Mm, no, nothing here on the graveyard. Uh, nothing here. There's the mighty powers of Four Oars Wind. Which I can grab if I go and get another item. You can imagine all of the powers are here, too. Oh, and I think I know what's in here. Another heart container. No cave in there. You feel like it's a wild west when you hear this song. This town ain't big enough for the both of us. And I think if we go all the way up here... over to this corner it'll actually give us a sneak peek of the final area but hidden right here another heart container these things are just littered everywhere no point on that island and I like to check my map every now and then so let's see I know there's a cave Somewhere there's Nehru's love. I'm really trying to find Forer's Wind. Forer's Wind. Din's Fire. And the Isle. Hello. Here's Din's Fire. Now here's another good thing. This game doesn't have magic. Din's Fire uses magic. Spam! Fantastic! <laughs> you could just spam this thing! So it's what's needed to grab these powers. First up, Nehru's Love. That's actually the the last area we can still explore. Level seven is up in the top in the white, and also level C as well. Level C houses the magic sword. Now, where is Four Oars Wind? Four Oars Wind, right here. Yoink! Asa. Now it's time to go over to this side. Alright, nothing up here that I know of. If there is, well, I'm pretty sure I'll be told. Like I said, I record ahead of time, so I probably won't know until it's too late. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, let's head over here to this Queen's Island. Two hits with this thing. This thing is basically as strong as the Master Sword. Oh god. I don't want you guys near me. Spam! 
Spam Din's fire. It doesn't cost a thing. Yeah, but I'm not just gonna sit and waste. Alright, up above is where the magic sword is. And once we keep going through here, there it is. Level C. Or level D. Well, level C. Oh, level C was the mayor's house, wasn't it? No, it was the sand place. Level D, I was thinking. My mistake. My mistake. And really? Must we hear the last dungeon theme of the first game? It's not a bad theme, but... I feel it's a bit overused at times. Uh, how about y'all burn up? Hmm, one strike after using it. You know the say, you know what they say. You fight fire with fire, doom. Doo -doo. Are these guys gonna die in one hit? Yes, they are. You gotta love Din's fire. Especially when you have no limits. Anything in here? I can't see. Let there be light. No, it's just blocks. And the boss door, and I kind of want to get healed. Ow. Alright, let's just keep going. Alright, and whoa god, level 3 Stalfos. No, 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 no. Y'all, burn up. There's the boss key. Alright, now we can head through there. And through is Dig Dogger. I could just use Din's Fire, but the game is known to crash at times whenever I use it, or over extensively use it. Or was that just Lamoa's? I don't know. There we go, and another heart container. Gee, I'm already up to max. Get 12 hearts for this weird sword. Well, I'm way ahead of you, buddy. Way ahead of you. Now let's go ahead and actually head to where level 7 is. I don't know what this song is, but it isn't very memorable, so I'm not even going to ask what it is. <laughs> oh, fairy place. I did not know about that. Anyway, we head through here. We are on Andy Island. Nice choice of music, the Deku Palace, but the MIDI version sucks, though. Alright, once we head on this island, we're getting bombarded by Octorox. Including the infamous Death Octorox. Use it. Use more of it. It's not gonna kill him. There we go. Ah, uh, yikes. Ah, Death Octorox. I hate him. Anyway, here is level 7. The Andy's Castle. And, uh... Next time we will go through Andy's Castle level 7. Link's first day to be continued.